Hi, this is Moni Singh and welcome back to our Teaching STEM podcast and video series. Today, I want to get into a specific dimension of STEM, coding. We hear that a lot and um, I've been hearing a lot of feedback from teachers about, you know, let's just go drill deeper into coding and really the foundations of it. Many of you have told me that, uh, you know, you're savvy enough to know that uh, doing a, you know, sitting down the kids for a click next, click next kind of um, activities um, is okay, but it's not like really teaching them anything is specific about coding and you're absolutely right so you've asked me to break it down a little bit more and get into more the fundamentals of coding so um i'm going to take um, um do a couple of uh, videos just to go into a more the fundamentals of coding in itself um get you a little bit more grounded now from, I'm a computer science engineer. Uh, before I started teaching STEM um, over a decade ago, I used to be in this uh, uh, computer science field. I had to go to college and I did four years of schooling uh, to learn the foundations, the coding, the programming principles and so on and so forth. Um, many of you are not, you know, uh, you do not have that opportunity. Um, uh, you may be a librarian, you might be a math teacher, a science teacher, and you have been tasked and said, okay, you know, uh, it, uh, incorporate coding into the children's learning and um, it seems overwhelming um, uh, there's so much technicality jargons and all those things floating around makes it a lot harder to really understand you know where do you focus how do you bring the core foundations to the children in a way that they can really learn um, now, I do want to um, emphasize the point about uh, there's a right way to teach coding and then there's a not so right way. Um, many times I've seen people mix up um, teaching kids about a tool as teaching kids the foundation of whatever concept that they're learning. And those two things are completely different. Um, so, for example, when we sit kids down into any of these programs out there which say, okay, do this, click next, do this, click next, do this, click next. Those are fantastic activities. And um, those are activities being driven by using a tool. They are a tool. Remember that they're a tool. Okay. Um, teaching a tool in and by itself is not teaching a concept. Uh, different, it's different aspect um uh, when you teach a tool i mean it's it's fun it's engaging kids are able to interact and um you know keep moving forward to the next level and doing whatever that tool is indicating you to do but remember if you just think back to the last couple of years how these tools have evolved over time right um we have code.org we have scratch we have alice we have all these other kinds of tools available and i'm sure looking into the future there'll be a lot more greater tools out there so it doesn't matter what tool the kids are using but the most important aspect doesn't change and those are the core foundational skills right the core foundational learning does not change tools will come and go tools will come and go um there's something cool today something else will be cool tomorrow so always remember that and what i want to do is separate out these two things okay there are tools out there many of them they're great they are part of the learning process uh, we are going to talk about the the concepts itself okay the basic foundations because once you as an educator know those concepts as the tools come and go you can say oh you know what i just have to bring these uh, concepts to uh, get the children to learn about these doesn't matter what tool um, i'm using and that's that's very powerful uh, we call it being tool agnostic okay so hopefully by um going through some of these um uh, this journey with me you will feel a lot more confident to be tool agnostic you don't you know doesn't matter whether somebody put put a um you know a lego robot in front of you or one of these other robots or scratch or alice or whatever of these coding tools you will feel um good about using them so let's let's talk about um the the core concepts um you know that uh, the very basic stuff okay and and then i'll drill them um go and drill deeper and deeper as we go forward so um so first thing let me share my screen and we're going to just look at the uh, the core concepts right so code and i'm going to give you like a very quick um framework to think about this and to um so here is your code Okay, so if I put it like that, and then um, the very first element that you have, the C, that's your actual code, okay? Now, what is a code? Um, 
a code is nothing but a set of instructions it is set of it's a set of instructions that you provide to a computer to do something for you that's all that's what code is so if you think about um, i'm going to draw a parallel with uh, let's say you're you're trying to bake um bake a cookie okay and you you got your hands on your grandma's favorite recipe for making a cookie that recipe is a code okay that's a code so set of instructions that somebody can look at follow along and um you know you have you can create an output now um any one of you who has been in who is teaching kids who you know if you're a parent and you're you're working with children you're all programmers okay every one of us we are a programmer because with all the things that we do it's very clear that we are we are programming our children right i mean uh, the value system on here is um if you do these 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 things and there's an incentive that comes right after that or if you do these these, these things there's a different and different consequence that comes all of that is programming okay so feel feel good about it okay we already do programming you already are a programmer we just need to take your frame of mind and kind of apply that to now programming a computer okay uh, but know that you got the basic foundations already there and well i'll, I'll again I'll, I'll break it up so you can see it all together okay so that's the code that's code is the set of instructions now um the next o the o piece to remember would be output because whatever you're doing the set of instruction that's towards generating a certain output okay that's your end result so for example again going back to the cookie uh, the recipe of the cookie the end result is the cookie right you want to make that uh, very yummy tasty uh, cookie as the output now together with output i always put uh, inputs um, so you will of course be um, using some inputs to get to the the right level of outputs whatever the output you're looking for so in case of the recipe for cookies that will be um, your flour your sugar eggs uh water butter all the things that you need to make the cookie right those are your inputs and you're looking to generate the output which is the baked cookie ah the yummy smell and everything else that comes with it all right cool um d is the um is the uh, one of the key components which will be we call it debug debug basically um once you have written up the uh, the code and as you're implementing it there'll be times when things are not going the way you anticipated them to go and it's it's almost like a process of testing and improving uh, debugging in case of uh, computer programming is basically taking the bugs out meaning that something is not working right so you figure out what is the problem why the code is not giving me the result the output that i expected and trying to uh, fix it you know taking all those errors and bugs out of it um, so for example uh, your grandma's recipe called for um, you know putting a pinch of baking soda baking powder but one of those putting a pinch of baking powder now maybe your grandma had a you know had very like little hands and her pinch is that small but you have bigger hands and your pinch is a little bit bigger and of course the output doesn't come out to be exactly what you you are anticipating or perhaps um your recipe called for uh, you know two table uh, two teaspoons and you ended up putting two tablespoons of course it's going to be something totally different results right so figuring out where those bugs are and taking them out basically that's that's debugging okay so it's a very iterative process of testing uh, and then improvising right so you 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 make a heuristic that oh maybe this is the step where i messed up and you go change that and then you try it out did it give you the right result if it still didn't give you the right result then you go back and say oh, is there something else where i messed up perhaps in my code and you fix that okay so debugging is an important step and um, again we'll talk more about that as we go forward e are the different elements right and elements i'm using it as a very broad term here because um in in your code you will be incorporating a lot of different uh, kinds of um elements so your code itself um, will have different control structures in there, different data structures in there, and then also um, um, tools. We talked about tools in the beginning, right? You might be incorporating many different tools in terms of delivering the entire package, getting to the output. Those are all elements, I put them in this big bucket. Um, 
many a times I see uh, when we get into coding, uh, computer programming, we spend a lot of time in that E, um, unbeknownst to us, but that's where we spend a lot of time. Um, but remember that there's all this kind of the bigger picture that you need to uh, get a grasp on so you can help the kids understand um, the, the finer, the foundational elements of, um, you know, what goes into um, coding. So that in very simplistic term is your cohort, right? So you have the, the code, the actual set of instructions, you have the output, the input, um, your debug, um, and then also the different elements that would in, you will incorporate into getting your coding done. Okay, so I'll leave this one at you know that very basic foundational level, um, and we'll dig a little bit deeper into each of these elements as we go forward. Um, do um, uh, whichever channel you're watching this on, if you're on podcast or on YouTube or any other channels, go ahead and subscribe, uh, follow us, and that way uh, we can get more feedback from you. Give us feedback, put comments, um, so that way as I am creating the next uh, videos in these series, we can make sure we're answering and taking care of whatever questions you have. Because remember, I get it okay i get it that it feels very overwhelming and all the literature and the jargons out there they don't make it easy at all and i my goal is to make it very simple um, so you can um, have a firm grasp on it yourself um, and basically relaying that to the kids and being tool agnostic and that is so important not getting bogged down by the tool that we're using all right um, folks uh, Thank you so much for listening. Again, please don't forget to subscribe whatever channel you're watching this on. Take care, everyone.